Hello, I'm board certified facial plastic surgeon Dr. Stephen Perkins with the Meridian Plastic Surgeons. In my nearly 30 year practice experience, I performed several thousand facelifts and many other rejuvenation procedures. I'm a past president of the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery and I'm routinely invited to our national meetings speaking about facelifts and other rejuvenation procedures. I even am invited frequently internationally to teach the techniques that I perform in facelifting. You may have heard about or seen some advertising on TV and magazines about certain facelift procedures that are claimed to be new, new quick, easy, even claim to have only a weekend of downtime for the healing process. Some of these have been supported by uh, paid celebrities to speak about them these celebrities may or may not have even had these procedures. Uh, so the, the words you've heard, the advertising claims, maybe you've heard the word quick lift, lifestyle lift, these are a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. What you really need to know is that these procedures that are um, called, say, lifestyle lift, quick lift, maybe S lift, some other gimmicky names uh, that you uh, or routinely presented with by the media are just advertising names. Uh, they aren't a specific procedure. Um, they're really programs designed to bring patients in to doctors who pay these uh, companies to send them patients in their own geographic area. The surgeons you see in the advertisements that you may be on TV or other, uh, other means of advertising are, are doctors who have either contracted with the company and get paid uh, a percentage of the fee that you would pay the company for your procedure or they may actually just pay uh, an advertising fee on a routine basis to the company who then advertises nationally and sends patients to them in their area. Prospective patients, maybe such as you, uh, are often led to believe that these are new uh, procedures that have some breakthrough in technique um, or innovative in some fashion producing quick excellent results with minimum downtime. The truth is these procedures are not new, not innovative and, and in fact sometimes are very shortened versions of a proper facelift. Each surgeon who performs the procedure for the company or through the advertising program really does perform some type of facelift procedure. It could be a, a good complete facelift procedure or could be a very short and limited technique. The fact is the surgeons they uh, receive money from for advertising or even contract with within their program may or may not even be board certified facial plastic surgeons. Some are, many are not. You really don't know who the surgeon is that they're telling you to go to. You may get a surgeon who knows exactly what to do to perform a, a proper result for you, or you may even get a surgeon who performs what I maybe describe as a cookie cutter or assembly line uh, technique in terms of rapid turnover uh, facelifts that may or may not produce good results. If the procedure is done too rapidly or in a shortcut fashion, it, it certainly may or may not produce a good result, but it also increases the rate of complications, uh, particularly if the surgeon's pressured to be hurried through the procedure to do many of them uh, on, a, on a kind of assembly line approach. The fact is, you know, when you contract with one of these programs, uh, to, to have this procedure, you may or may not even see the surgeon before you schedule the surgery. You, you really in many times see a representative of the company who pretty much pressures you to go ahead and get on the surgery schedule, then you meet the surgeon who performs the procedure. Uh, afterwards, you see him once or maybe twice and then they're on to the next several patients and you're left to your own healing and that's not necessarily a good thing. The actual facts are, and the truth is, there's really nothing quick or casual about a facelift procedure. A facelift is a cheek neck lift. I mean, it, it, it 
lifts the jawline and the neckline. That's what it's supposed to do. If you do that properly, or even in these procedures that are touted as one to three day healing time, they all have the same healing time, a week to two weeks at the minimum to get back to work and social activities. There's no shortcut to your body taking time to heal from a surgical procedure. The face-up procedure is a procedure that repositions the sagging tissues of the neck and jawline um, and in the hands of a very skilled or experienced surgeon, well, such as myself, it will produce a very youthful, natural looking result. I mean, there are facelifts done that are overdone that produce uh, results that you don't want. And there are also procedures, if they are shortened too much, that don't produce the result that you really are trying to achieve or it doesn't last. And that's one thing that you have to understand, a proper facelift is done so that it will last. So every patient I see um, presents with a slightly different set of uh, sagging tissues and conditions. Hereditarily, they may have more loss of elasticity than the next person, may have more fat in the neck, maybe more sun damage, or you even have been a smoker in the past. All these factors come into play as to what type of procedures are going to be required to get a good result. Um, maybe a more limited uh, technique that uh, I'm able to get an excellent long-term result if the tissues are just beginning to sag and have some residual elasticity, but if required, a more extensive procedure in order to really get rid of that heavy neckline, uh, sagging fatty tissue, and, and, and really sun damage, and uh, I may be able to do a somewhat limited procedure which does heal a little faster in a person who has just a slight degree of laxity or sagging, wants to be tightened up, maybe starts with more elasticity, they still have a healing time. But I will do whatever's required. Um, I know the techniques to get an excellent neckline, um, really tighten up and re the, the jawline, get rid of the extra fatty tissues. Um, each patient requires some degree of individualization in the face of procedure. That's what an experienced surgeon is able to offer you, like myself. Because of my years of experience and the staff here at the Meridian Plastic Surgery Center, many of whom have been with me many years, we really give you the best experience possible, both in the, from the initial consultation, the surgical procedure, the post-operative care, and of course the the lasting results that you've been looking for. This is what we do here on a regular basis. I think you'll find coming to a place where that's the priority of the practice, priority of the surgeon, you'll have your most pleasant experience possible and the best out, out long-term outcome. With any surgical procedure, there, there are things that can um, say go wrong, they're called complications. Most of these things are very easily correctable, managed. Um, if, if a doctor is encouraged to hurry through the operation because, again, like I said earlier, uh, he's paid to do a volume of patients almost in an assembly line fashion, he may not take care and attention to the details to prevent uh, certain complications and if he's hurried to go on to the next patient and you happen to have for instance a small hematoma or some degree of issues with your stitch line maybe maybe a small degree of infection that can occur in any surgical procedure and he's not there for you or that surgeon's not um, able to follow you up closely you could end up in a problem but here and in my practice we have a very small incidence of called hematomas, which are small blood collections, because we take I take care and attention to detail during the operation uh, to prevent those issues. But they, they can't occur. Then we are here all the time on a 24-hour basis to take care of whatever comes up. Now, I'm all for an experienced surgeon being efficient with the operation. I'm 
I'm very efficient if you compare how long it takes me to do a facelift procedure with some people who do it very infrequently. I probably do it in half the time. So you have half the anesthesia time, you know, half the cost of the OR and anesthesia. But I don't hurry. I'm, I just do it enough that I'm efficient and efficiency produces good results. But that's not hurrying through the operation. That's where you don't want to get caught in that idea that the doctor is on to the next patient, on to the next patient as rapidly as, rapidly as he can. One of the complications that I've actually seen from some of these patients in these paid programs, uh, one called the Lifestyle Lift, is thickening scars or very visible scars in front of around the ears. If the doctor hurries, first of all, it makes a scar in front of the ear. You can't camouflage that with makeup, even if it heals properly. I take very uh, close attention to detail and time to hide the incisions inside the ear and behind the back of the ear so that you don't have to hide them with your hairstyle. The other thing is I support the deep tissues. That's a very critical aspect of getting a good long-term result that's natural. If the doctor just pulls quickly on the skin, maybe puts one or two deep stitches, there's a lot of tension on the scar and tension creates what we call hypertrophic scars, thickened scars that are very unsightly. You do not need that, you should not expect that and unfortunately I've seen that in some of those results. One thing I mentioned earlier is that if the operation is minimized or shortcuts are taken, often the cheek only is tightened, nothing is really done to the neckline. Um, when you tighten the cheek, you kind of get a temporary decent looking neckline. Unfortunately, that's not going to last and if that's what you paid for, you're going to be disappointed certainly within one year to two years, if not six months to one year. I, I think a great part of the face of operation in, in the hands of a surgeon who really knows what they're doing, achieving a good neckline that lasts is critical to the long-term result that you're, you're trying to achieve, or you would like to get from your facelift. So I do a lot of work, not only taking extra fat away, but tightening the thin dangling neck muscle in the neck called the patisma. I use that as a, your own natural sling, so there's no foreign sutures or materials that are required. Your own natural sling, done suspended properly, uh, from behind the ear, underneath the skin, will give a neckline for 10, 15 years, probably never return to the sagging neckline that you came in with. So different than these programs that encourage a short uh, degree of skin work and maybe a, a stitch or two in the deep tissues in front of the ear, barely even address the neckline. The pictures you see in these advertisements uh, are kind of misleading. Uh, sometimes when you see the result uh, of a say quick lift or lifestyle lift or you name it lift, this person looks, wow, what a difference. They didn't tell you they also had eyelids, forehead lift, maybe even a chemical peel. They had multiple rejuvenation procedures and they only mentioned that they had a quick lift, okay? Likewise, you don't know whether that surgeon took time to do anything to the neck on his own because he knew that was the right thing to do or as a surgeon that didn't have that experience and did a shorter procedure. The real fact is you don't even know in that advertising that that's that doctor's patient. That may be a nationally paid person to represent what could be a result and not necessarily that doctor's ability to produce that result. So that you have to be careful with. If you look at my website, you look at my advertising, I always show patients that I have done who have given me permission to show those results. But that's critically important You know what that doctor is able to produce before you choose your surgeon. The other thing we talk about is follow-up. Not only do I follow up my patients very closely several times in the first two weeks, one month, three months, six months, and a year, if there's any issues that come up in the first two weeks, I'm either here available or I have someone specifically in my practice right here available. Uh, some of the programs have surgeons who travel to another city and then they leave the city and they're nowhere to be found. If you have an issue, you end up in the emergency room. I've, I've 
actually had patients who have had that happen to them. But mainly, I also want to follow you up as a patient of mine to make sure you're happy and I'm happy with how your tissues healed and how the results ended a year down the line. There is a small incidence of some rebound relaxation of tissues depending on your pre-existing elasticity and what's going on in the neck where if I can retouch up or tuck up under the chin and make that result better for the long term, I'll do that for you. I'm, that's what I'm here for. These programs absolutely do not do that and do not really allow that surgeon in the financial position they're in to provide you that follow-up at no additional cost. So I think you have to take that in consideration as well as the other things we've talked about. So when you consider choosing uh, your surgeon, you want to choose a board certified facial plastic surgeon and a board certified facial plastic surgeon who does the procedure you're looking for on a regular basis. For instance, ask them how many facelifts they do. do they, is it an occasional operation? Do they do it all the time like I do? And what is the follow-up period? Are they going to see you? What if something needs to be done? Have that surgeon be there for you uh, for the long term. You'll, you'll be happy and you'll have a good relationship with your doctor. During your consultation, we will discuss the things that are most concerning you. Uh, there may be more things besides your neck and jawline that we're talking about. I will help you prioritize those issues. Uh, we can even set up a plan if it's not right for you to do it more than one thing at the same time, that's fine. Or we can combine procedures, max maximizing the overall end result in your appearance with the least amount of downtime away from your social activities, work schedule, etc. You'll find that even these programs that promote the quick lift or the lifestyle lift or the minimized downtime aren't telling you that they want to sell you eyelid procedures, forehead lift procedures, that's also what they're interested in doing is to promote multiple procedures for you that you would pay for outside that program. Now again, I don't have a problem with that, but they need to be straightforward and honest with you in the consultation. And really it's the doctor that needs to meet you to give you that best professional evaluation. So there's really no substitute for me meeting you. I, I mean, I can have you talk to one of my staff initially about basically you know where I do the surgery here at the Meridian Plastic Surgery Center. We do all this uh, right here. Our ambulatory surgery center is totally accredited um, in a wonderful environment for you right in the same building as I would meet you in the initial consultation. But me meeting you, making a plan is right for you. It's, it's right for me to make the plan and be the proper doctor and best surgeon for you. Uh, it wouldn't work for me to have someone else see you and tell me what I'm going to operate uh, or what procedure I'm going to do. In my consultation with you, one of the things that we provide here is the state-of-the-art computer imaging. Computer imaging has been around since the mid-1980s, but its uh, software has improved even dramatically over the last 25 years. We have a very skilled and experienced medical photographer uh, and artist who really works with me and with you in your consultation in showing you a very true representation uh, of what your result can be from a facelift, what your neckline is going to look like, what other things might look like if you choose other procedures. There's no tool better for visually communicating and taking the time the doctor should take the time to provide you that kind of information and, and we do here at the Marine Plastic Surgery Center. Another thing about me and, and really you choosing a surgeon who you want to do your face up procedure, besides the fact that that surgeon is well trained, board certified facial plastic surgeon, does the procedure regularly, it's also nice if you choose a surgeon who is asked to teach other surgeons the techniques that he's achieving to get good results. 
that's what I do. I'm, again, regularly invited to meetings. I not only teach surgeons routinely uh, by video, by oral presentations, by showing results uh, th that I'm able to produce. They want to learn how I get the results I do. Um, I'm at that level. I'm also uh, the director of a fellowship program. Um, the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery has 44 fellowships across the country. Uh, I'm the director of one of those fellowships. Every year I train a surgeon who has finished their residency, could go out into practice, but they choose to spend a year with me. I interview 20 or 25 potential uh, fellows around the country and I choose my top choice every year to spend a year with me in the practice learning how I do this so they can go out and do excellent work particularly in the, in the area of facelifting and other facial procedures. The bottom line is these procedures whether they're called quick lift, lifestyle lift, S lift, you name it lift, those, those are name gimmicks to attract you to something that seems special or quick or easy. I don't think a facelift has to be difficult. We try to make it as easy as it can be for you, but it is a surgical procedure that does a defined set of things. Done properly, your best interests are taken care of. The result is achieved for you that you want in a very safe environment. If you choose a, an advertising program hoping to get something for maybe less downtime or less money, you may be sorry and I, and, I, and I encourage you to really rethink that approach. I invite you to visit my before and after photo gallery on my website at indiefacialplastic.com. These are results of patients that I've done that have given me permission to show their results on my website. That, that gives you at least an example of the kind of results that I do achieve and what you could expect to achieve, but we'll go over that in your consultation. I'm going to finish by saying it is important to choose the proper and best surgeon for you. Do as much research as you can. Interview more than one doctor if, you, if that's important to you. Certainly read about them. Ask your doctor. Ask friends if they want to talk about it. Ask your hairdressers. Check with the local medical society the local hospital. There are many avenues by which you can check out a surgeon. Go to the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. Um, that's the organization I belong to. Check out the American Board of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. They do keep records of doctors and know who the good surgeons are in your area. Be informed. That way you can put your best face forward you need to trust your face to a well, very experienced facial plastic surgeon, such as myself. That's what I can offer you. I do look forward to seeing you in our consultation together. Thank you.